So let's go back and revisit um, appropriation versus appreciation. And normally I would not do this. Y'all know how I, how I am. I say what I say, and then it is up to you to do additional research. You do know I like independent study, right? Um, but we are going back this time because I was reading through the comments and there still seems to be a great deal of confusion as to the difference between appreciation and appropriation. Let's get started. So we said that appreciation, right, is recognition and enjoyment of the good qualities of someone or something. And included in that definition was sensitive understanding, right? So appreciation would look something like this. I like your hair. Your braids look cute. Your afro is amazing. What a beautiful headdress. I understand that there is historical value and meaning to that headdress. Your kimono is so beautiful. If I recall correctly, there's significant meaning behind the kimono. Oh, your quinceanera, correct my pronunciation, your quinceanera sounded so nice. I hope you had a good time. It's as simple as that. So let's talk about appropriation. Now appropriation is taking something for one's own use. Remember, we said that it's typically done without someone's permission. Remember, taking something, something that is historically and culturally uh, important to people of color, taking that for your own use, typically without someone's permission. Okay? Now examples of that would be sporting cornrows, dreading your hair. Remember we said that your hair does not do that and it does not lock. Our hair naturally does. Your hair does not. Stop it. Other signs, other uh, examples of appropriation would be, and we've talked about it, wearing headdresses as costumes. Any kind of costume. Wearing them to Coachella. Yeah, no, 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 no. Naming shapewear, kimono. We talked about that one. How about wearing them as loungewear? And again, this one falls into the Halloween costume category as well. Don't do that. Other examples of appropriation? Um, huh. We have Sweet 16. That's what we have. That's what we do to celebrate when our children turn 16. Okay? Okay. Now, with that being said, no, you cannot have a quinceanera. Please correct my pronunciation. But you can't have that. Are you Hispanic? Then no. You cannot have a bat mitzvah, a bat mitzvah, or a bar mitzvah. Are you Jewish? No. You cannot do that either. Naming a football team the Cleveland Indians. Now, I don't know if that's appropriation. I do know that that's disrespectful. Yeah. And I'm going to throw this in here uh, because I feel that it is power yoga. Now, again, I don't know if it's appropriation, but I feel like it's disrespectful, okay? Now, I know that yoga swept the world back in the 70s, 
somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but it swept the world back in the 70s, right? My understanding though of yoga is that it is the, or brings into alignment, spirit, mind, and body. It is moving meditation. It helps you um, become one with whatever higher power you serve. Okay, that's my understanding. And again, correct me if I'm wrong. However, power yoga is a bastardization of yoga. I said what I said. Yoga is not meant for you to get a flat stomach. Yoga for weight loss, not better. I hope that um, these examples helped you in some way to distinguish between appreciation, which is as simple as I like, I love, it's so nice, as opposed to wearing something that we find or we know to be as culturally significant to us when you wear it as costumes or when you just slap it into your head without understanding the meaning behind it and why we are so protective of it because we do not want you using our culture like a toy something that you could pick up when you want to and put down when you're bored and while I have you, do not fix your fingers to reach out and touch black women's hair, period. I am trying to save a life because not all black women are going to duck and weave. No, bob and weave. Some black women will punch you in your throat. I'm just trying to save a life. So don't touch black women's hair. <laughs>